Okay. In this video, I'm going to show you quickly how to adjust the uh, tension if your polar scope arm is a little too loose. This one happens to not be, but this is the process. You're going to need a Phillips head screwdriver, a number two uh, millimeter Allen key, and uh, either another Allen key or a Phillips head, depending on your mount, the age of the mount, and the screw that's hiding underneath here. Um, in the more recent Light Track 2s, there's one hole at the top of the mount here. And in some of the older ones, there will be three. There'll be one here, one right here, and then one on the other side. But all you do is remove the set screw that is inside this hole. And try not to lose it. It's a little guy. And there's actually a second one inside. You don't need to remove this one entirely. However, you do want to loosen it. All right, now that that's loosened, what this set screw does is hold uh, the main arm of the mount here, the support arm, static against the last plate here, the attachment plate. And by loosening that, we actually um, are giving ourselves the ability to uh, compress this whole stack on the central strut that goes all the way through here. Next we'll take our screwdriver here and we will remove all four screws. Sometimes I like to leave one in place so you can just swing this out of the out of the way here. Now here we have actually a Allen head screw. And in this case you would just get the appropriate Allen key. And what you want to do is if the arm is too loose is to, by very small amounts, tighten this central screw. And when I say very small amounts, I mean 10, 15 degrees at a time. And then swing the arm all the way around a couple of times, give it a chance to equalize that compression all the way through the stack and see if that works for you. And if not, tighten it some more another 10 or 15 degrees. It's worth noting that there is Loctite on this screw, so it might provide some resistance when you are trying to tighten it up. However, you should, with proper leverage, be able to tighten that uh, just a smidge. And when you have it at the correct friction, where your polar arm is how you'd like it, Tighten this screw back. Make sure it's nice and tight in there. And get the second screw, the first one you removed, put that back in and tighten this screw. And that will act to lock everything in place and prevent that first screw that's inside there from backing out. It is good to note that it can still loosen over time with use, with thermal expansion and contraction. Um, you probably want to do this at room temperature. If you were to do this all when it was, uh, let's say, too hot, you would find that essentially once it got cold it would get loose again. And if you were to do it in the cold, you'd find that any temperature above that, this polar scope arm would be really, really tough to move. So that is how we do that. Then you just simply reattach the plate here and you're good to go.